on the night of November 24, 1982, while still working on a plan to revitalize Nairobi's transport system, Obama Sr. left for Caroline to drink with friends. He then left for home. On the way, he crashed into the stump of a giant gum tree and died on the spot. We found him sitting by the steering wheel. The car did not roar. So, after it was seen that he had hit the tree, we just had to believe it because he could not talk back. We really did not believe it was a real accident because his body was never broken. His vehicle was not badly crashed. He was just dead after the accident. Not even much blood was seen. Sarah Obama is quoted in the bridge a book by Fastbrook detailing Obama's life before he became president. Long before his death, Obama senior had grown critical of the Kenyatta government and for that he was sidelined. In a paper he penned in 1965 for the East African Journal, Obama wrote a harsh critique of the Boya Kibaki Junior Session of Paper number no. 10 which read the basis of the country's economic policy. While the session of paper rejected the classic Marxist philosophy then embraced by the Soviet Union and some European countries, it argued that centralized planning should define common farming lands to maximize productivity and should defer to tribal traditions instead of hastening individual land ownership. It was this brash personality and loud-mouth nature that saw him sink into alcoholism and deeper into disillusionment and despair. The whiskey fueled rages, brutality, and drunk driving became his signature.